Hey Columbia, today we're going to look at the illustrations of a French company called Sirigolo. Um, illustrations are pictures that can be used for decoration or provide a visual explanation. They're often found in books or magazines. They can be used also for advertising. Uh, these these particular illustrations I love because we get to talk about proportion and proportion is the size of something in a, in a picture. So in this illustration, the proportion um, of the both eyes are different. So we have a small eye and we have a large eye. And I think they give them really interesting expressions and they're really fun to make. So I'm gonna go through how to make this walrus with you. Um, after we're finished drawing, we're gonna paint them and we're also gonna use oil pastel. Um, when we're thinking about finishing these, we're gonna talk about complementary colors. So we're gonna use colors that complement each other or that work really well together. So you can see this purple and yellow are complements of each other. All right, but, but before we get to that, we're gonna start with the drawing part. We're gonna be using uh, shapes and lines to create an image or an illustration. Uh, we're gonna begin by drawing the eyes. And the eyes are an important feature of these illustrations. So one's going to be small and one's gonna be large. And we're gonna be drawing two circles. So we have one circle here, and we're going to do one larger circle here. The next step is we're going to draw a rainbow shape. So the rainbow is going to start right underneath the eyes, and it's going to go, makes it look almost like a frown. Uh, we're going to bring these up by drawing almost like a smile, and we're going to go back down. Kind of looks like a bean almost. Uh, two circles are going to be added to the top for the nostrils, and then we're gonna fill in the eyes. If you wanna wait till you get your Sharpie to fill in the eyes, that's okay, but I'm gonna do it now. Okay, our next step is to do the whiskers. And I'm using three lines. If you'd like to use more, you're welcome to. And I'm gonna add little circles. Okay, now we need to make the body, because right now we only have a face, and to make the body, we're gonna connect the two eyes using a curved line, and you can see it's just slightly curved. Then we're gonna start on the side of the face, and we're gonna bring this right down into the side of the paper. We're gonna go take our pencil, in my case, Sharpie, and go right through these whiskers. On the other side, we're gonna do a little bit more of a curved line, and this is gonna be more of a letter J. Um, a walrus needs tusks, so we are going to add tusks by making a curved line. The line's going to curve towards the inside, almost like a C and a backward C. And we're going to bring it right back up. And there you have it. You are finished creating a animal illustration inspired by the company Sirigolo.